Oh, thank Jack. goodness. Thank you, Vanna, otherwise known as Judy. Yep. Are we ready? I'm every bit as glamorous as Vanna. Everybody ready? We're ready. Are you ready, Rabbi? Oh. There take, we go. Okay. Ready? special friend who is with us tonight celebrating a special birthday and that is Lynn Rappaport. It is Lynn Rappaport's birthday. I don't know if I am officially sanctioned to reveal which birthday it is but I am absolutely allowed to sing happy birthday. And join in if you wish. Yom Huledet Sameach. Yom Huledet Sameach. Yom Huledet Sameach. Yom Huledet Sameach. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lynn. Happy birthday to you and many more. Always stay as beautiful as you are. Okay. Happy birthday, Lynn. Now, now we get to the serious stuff. All right. So, the other night, Lanny, I don't know if I can get on speaker view here or not. It's okay. All right. The other night, Lanny uh, sang the song that I had planned to sing on the eighth <laughs> night. Lanny sang the great modern classic, Light One Candle. Light One Candle. Uh, which was composed by Peter Yarrow in, I believe it was 1984 or 85. So it's a 35 year old um, modern classic of Hanukkah. And I was going to do it, but then I heard Lanny sing it the other night and I said to myself, there's no way I can do that song justice after hearing the way Lanny sang that song and played the piano. And so I had to shift uh, gears and I had a, a day or two to figure out something else. And I'm going to play something tonight that I've never done. This is an experiment and it might fall flat on its face and be a dismal failure. However, it is another modern Hanukkah classic that I'm sure many of you have heard by Adam Sandler, the Hanukkah song. 
Adam Sandler wrote and performed this song first on Saturday Night Live in 1995. And since then, it has been rewritten and updated a few times. And I actually thought about doing the updates, but they were either inappropriate or just plain dirty. So I, I felt the only safe alternative was the original one. And also because uh, most of us are, I would say, of age, uh, we will all know the players that are mentioned in this song. So bear with me. I'm going to try my best. This is the Adam Sandler Hanukkah song. Put on your yarmulke. Here comes Hanukkah. So much fun to celebrate Hanukkah. Hanukkah is the festival of lights. Instead of one day of presents, we have eight crazy nights. When you feel like the only kid in town without a Christmas tree, here's a list of people who are Jewish, just like you and me. David Lee Roth lights the menorah. So does James Conn's Kirk Douglas and the late Dinah Shora. Guess who eats together at the Carnegie Deli? Bowser from Shanana and Arthur Fonzarelli. Paul Newman's half Jewish. Goldie Horns have to put them together. What a fine looking Jew. You don't need deck the halls or jingle bell rock. Cause you stand spin a dreidel with Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock, both Jewish. Put on your yarmulke, it's time for Hanukkah. The owner of the Seattle Supersonicas celebrates Hanukkah. O.J. Simpson, not a Jew, but guess who is? Hall of Famer Rod Carew, he converted. We got Ann Landers and her sister, dear Abby. Harrison Ford's a quarter Jewish, not too shabby. Some people think that Ebenezer Scrooge is. Well, he's not, but guess who is? All three Stooges. So many Jews are in showbiz. Tom Cruise isn't, but I heard his agent is. Tell your friend Veronica, it's time you celebrate Hanukkah. I hope I get a harmonica on this lovely, lovely Hanukkah. So drink your gin and tonica, and don't smoke marijuana. If you really, really want to go, have a happy, 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 happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. Great job, Rabbi. Great. Great job. Great. Good, very nice. <laughs> I tried anyways, I tried. Okay, great. Carol, over to you. Oh, great. Okay. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. Happy Hanukkah. Great. So great. somehow or other, Rabbi, you, we always manage to um, tie together, sort of, kind of. Um, we've traveled the world, for those of you who have been with me and those of you who are new, I'll just tell you that we've been to Antarctica. We've been. Can't hear, can't hear. No. Carol, you're muted. I, okay, I thought I unmuted. Sorry. So we've traveled the world together through the continents. We've been to Antarctica. We've been to India, that was, that's in Asia. We've been to the land down under. We've been to Europe, we went to Germany. We went to Egypt in Africa. We went to Argentina in South America. We went to Alaska in North America. 
And I was asked by somebody when I ran out of continents, if I would tell you how deployed soldiers celebrate the holidays. So it may be a little longer, but I think you'll find it interesting. There certainly are not a lot of photos with Hanukkah and Jewish soldiers. I'm going to show you tonight the photos at the end and I'll explain them when we get to them. Often, sadly, Jewish soldiers are reluctant to make their religion public, most especially in Mideastern countries for obvious reasons. Deployed soldiers will open their packages with families on FaceTime or Skype. Since 9-11, about 1 million spouses and more than 2 million children have celebrated holidays without a parent or spouse due to frequent and lengthy deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan. And I can proudly say that my family is one of those numbers for many times over. Families and groups send packages and they record messages. It's difficult to find camaraderie in the service for minority religions. Christmas is different where there are celebrations and decorations and no problem displaying. The Jewish War Board Jewish Chaplains Council sends menorahs of folded tin, candles, dreidels, and candy to Jewish troops. Often, there is only one Jewish soldier in the entire unit. The joint base um, in San Antonio, the Air Force Base, there's a chaplain or there was a chaplain, Kayan, who believes he is giving back because his grandparents were murdered for their religion. He strives to ensure that the airmen have the opportunity to celebrate Hanukkah and rekindle their faith being a beacon of light. With Hanukkah being a family-oriented holiday, he works hard at making the unit become the family for deployed soldiers. He is a chaplain who believes that as Jews, we were able to withstand and overcome the challenge of those who were trying to destroy us and therefore demonstrates our faith through the holidays. Kosher Troops, coincidentally, is a group that has sent packages over the years. There's quite a humorous story with that and a coincidence when a soldier opened a package with a menorah, candles, and treats, and another soldier remarked, oh, you're Jewish too? <laughs> so you see, they didn't, they didn't share. Many sacrifices that we don't know about which is why there are so many of us who try to ensure that there is a little bit of home away from home while being deployed. Now I'm going to show you just a few pictures and I'm going to explain them. And I think you'll find them very interesting. We're just gonna run through and go see where we've been just so you can, you can see the world, Antarctica, India, Australia, Germany, Egypt, Argentina, Alaska. Now these are some pictures um, of Hanukkah at Kandahar Air Base in Afghanistan. You see them lighting the candles and the Marines are opening their presents. In this picture on the left, it says Seder in Baghdad. If you look at the head of the table, you'll see a man smiling. And then if you count down three soldiers on the left, that's my son, Randy, in 2003, Seder in the desert. Um, the next picture and the last picture I have is Rosh Hashanah in Balad in Iraq. And you can see how many soldiers there are certainly not that many. For um, Passover, Seder in Baghdad, they had to collect all of the soldiers they could find within an area that they could manage to get them all together in Baghdad. So I, I wanted you to see how the holidays are 
celebrated by deployed soldiers. It certainly isn't anything like we know, but they certainly try and they have to be ever so careful, more careful than you could ever begin to imagine. That's my story about deployed soldiers, Jewish deployed soldiers celebrating our holidays. So now, without further ado, we have our big door prize or our Zoom prize. Um, I'm going to ask Debbie to do that. And then I have a surprise coming. Okay. Debbie, we'll do the door prize and then we'll do our surprise. Okay. Laddie's do you have latkes for everyone, Carol? Laddie's uh, no. the door prize. I went out of order, Debbie, but it is what oh. it is. We finally, night, Lanny just picked it, night seven, we finally have a-, a Night eight. Night eight, a man, Larry Sachs. Ah, very nice. Great. So because this was a patriotic and deployed soldiers, and I was supposed to do this first, but I got a little confused when I talk about my soldiers, we have a special presentation from our own Lanny Bowles. With three hours practice when Carol thought about it, just saying. Yep, go, go. ahead, make well, it's cry. better than one hour of practice. First to fight for the right and build the nation's might and the army goes rolling along. Proud of all we have done fighting till the battle's won and the army goes rolling for it's high, high, hey, the army's on its way. Count on the cadence on its strong. For wherever we go, you will always know that the army goes rolling along. That the army goes rolling along. Anchors away, my boys. Anchors away. deployed soldiers, I'm, I can't thank you enough. Before we end, um, Nima. Oh, Debbie has something to show us. Okay, my, my new toy did, ar did not arrive, so you're gonna have to wait till next year, but back by popular demand.
And last but last time for the season. Careful, I feel a fundraiser coming on. Um, Nima, where are you, Nima? I'm here. Okay, do you want to say anything, do anything before I say what I need to say to end? I just want to wish everyone a happy holidays. It's uh, all day tomorrow morning is still Hanukkah. And this is one of those holidays that even though it's eight days, you want it to go on and on and on. So um, keep lighting candles, keep, keep the fire going, keep, you know, let the light keep shining through this entire winter until we uh, meet again, hopefully sometime in the spring. So I wish everyone a really a sweet, sweet, sweet uh, holiday for one more day and warm winter in the midst of a snowstorm. <laughs> Thanks, uh, the same to you. Uh, so I want to- It's lasted for so many years. Don't let the lights go out. Let it shine through our love and our tears. So in order to end tonight, I want to thank Rabbi and Nima for all your participation this week, for your support, for so letting me do this and take us to another place, literally to another continent. Thank Debbie for saying, yeah, you can try it if you want. Let's see what happens. I want to wish Marilyn a happy birthday again. And I want to thank all of you for coming. Some of you have been with us every single night. Some of you have been newbies. Some of you come another night. It's been great. You've made me feel good. I hope I've made you feel good. I hope it's been a Hanukkah that you'll remember and that kept you from being alone. You're with your Rode of Sholem family if you can't be with your own. So Thank happy you. Hanukkah. Thank you, Carol. Beautiful. Thank you, Carol. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carol, for organizing. It was one, it was really great. Uh, yeah. Great job. Thank Thank you. Oh, well done. Great well done, job. Carol. It was yes. Beautiful job, everybody. Very, very nice. I want to thank everyone. And uh, hey, happy Hanukkah and stay well, everyone. Thank you. 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 Stay Let's do it again next year, Daryl. Yes, sir. What are we doing next year? Let's do it again. <laughs> there it is. Uh, this is the best way. Yeah. Uh, Carol, it was made, a pleasure. A it, pleasure it, it was, to watch. It was Good. very interesting. Every every night, a different venue, a different place. It really drew me back, Carol. You oh, did a great thank job. you, <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> Today Neil, is my sister everybody. Sue's birthday, too. Oh, thank you. She oh, said her sister birthday. Sue's birthday. Oh, I didn't know that. Did I? Number 70, Diggy. I think I yes, did. correct. And now she's live on Facebook. Does yes. everybody see Mila waving at the bottom? No. Hey, Mila. No. Hi, Mila. Hi. Hi, Mila. Hi, happy birthday. Hi. Happy Hanukkah, Mila. I just I'm sorry. Happy, Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. And hopefully I will be there next year to visit to you in person. Oh, from your lips to God's ears. Nice. Want me to do those? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mila and I have been longtime Hanukkah menorah lighters together. Mila? And that's a story for another time. <laughs> okay, well.
Very nice. So nice. Hmm? So I, I hate that we're going to be giving up these little get together. Oh, no. You know? Yeah. Nobody, nobody wants to leave, it looks like. I know. I <laughs> well, you know what? We're going to talk about it. Maybe once a month we could do a little something for 20 minutes, one night a week or something, once a month. <laughs> a little fun program or something. So. Um, there's lots of things, nice. lots of things uh, we can do, except we can't provide yeah, snacks. I, yeah. yeah, I sent Carol an idea for a bingo game. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good idea. Wow. I saw wow. that. We can work on that. I'll have to get Paul involved in that one. <laughs> <laughs> <Not> the luck. <laughs> <laughs> I All heard right, that. Happy everybody. <laughs> Well. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Good night. Good night. Happy Hanukkah. Good night. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Very very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. 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 Thank you.